The Arts Council is the designated arts agency for Fairfax County, and we've developed this artist residency program in the middle schools in collaboration with Fairfax County Public Schools. We learned that there was a need for additional arts programming at the middle school level, and we work very closely in partnership with Fairfax County Public Schools to place the artists in the residencies in each school. Um, and then the artists work closely with the classroom teachers throughout the residency to deliver an engaging arts experience for the students. When I left Pennsylvania, my eyes were open wide. I'm a Delta Blues artist and I preserve 1920s and 1930s blues music through acoustic instruments. I wanted to work with middle school children because they have a more sophisticated language ability to understand the figurative language and the poetic language of the blues. My goal was to help these students understand that the, the concerns expressed in the art forms uh, in the 1920s and 1930s are the same concerns we have today and connect them with a different period of history than they may they may not have realized how much we have in common. I love working with kids. They have so many ideas and I love sharing my ideas with them and having them share their ideas with me. It's a creative process. Uh, the purpose of the project was for them to recognize how much art is in our culture by showing them the work of other artists and just asking them to look around them and see if they recognize some cultural icons that made them feel happy or made them feel comfortable. Putting those down on paper, it, it, could, uh, it could actually uh, be a way for them to share their ideas with other students visually. You stole my money. You stole my throat. That's they had put together you. scenes on their own uh, based on classical plays. Uh, Shakespeare's plays like Othello, Romeo and Juliet, uh, Twelfth Night, and uh, these are scenes with violence. So we combine the work that they were doing on the scene with uh, adding choreography. We teach them, you know, uh, the rules of stage combat, distance, keeping a safe distance when they're sword fighting, uh, placement, the placement of the weapon. And you promised me, I trusted you. They bring their own life experiences or their viewpoints of the world that they see around them and uh, use these old stories, these classical stories, uh, and retelling them in their day and age. And so they bring the stories and they change them and, and have surprise endings like, you know, Desdemona actually killing o o Othello. <laughs> I like that. So that these old stories, they begin to realize that the problems and challenges that they face in uh, their day and age are the same stories that Shakespeare was writing about. The goal is to work with the students on developing their 21st century standards of learning, which are the four C's, collaboration, creativity, critical thinking, and communication as well as connecting with elements of the core curriculum. What we've tried to do uh, Curtis and myself is to get the kids really to concentrate on just the process and not like my product has to be a perfect product. I find that the more different things you do with middle school kids, um, the more apt you are to find something that they will latch on to. If you can find one or two things that they can be enthusiastic about, then you've probably done a really good job. Yeah, it was great to have um, Michaela's expertise with painting, so I think they all learned a lot about painting. Some of them had more experience with painting than others, um, so it was great for kids to really um, to learn how to break down their painting into different steps. Um, a lot of them hadn't really done that before and hadn't really worked with layering before. I think middle school is a really fun age to teach, especially with art. They have a lot of background knowledge um, that they've built up over the years up until now, um, but they're kind of just getting to that age where they can start to plan their own ideas and they really care about what, what the artwork's about um, and what's behind it. Um, well, my idea was I spend my summers at a lake in Wisconsin um, with my grandparents and there's a restaurant there called Culver's.
and we go there quite often a few times this summer. We first did like shapes that were black and white um, and then we added value to those and then we added color and then we added value to the color and then did all the little details and stuff. It was the first experience having a personal artist come in this class and help us and I thought it was a wonderful idea because with the more people you see they think differently from your teachers and they give bring new ideas along with them like new techniques. Well the painting talks about because um, I was reading this book about this little girl abandoned in the forest and uh, but she made it she made it her personal home which is really special. I really like art because it teaches you how to like express feelings with just painting and just express yourself towards that. It's extremely important to support kids in the arts because art helps us create an environment for ourselves that makes us feel safe. And we need a safe environment to grow and learn in, and art is the perfect medium. Which, what is wonderful about this, they're so creative. And they come up with solutions that you go, oh my God, that's so unique, that's so refreshing, you know. They're using art to, to express that, whether it be you know, a painter or a sculptor or a writer uh, or a performer. Uh, it's all the same process. We hope to instill the love for the arts in these students early on and that they'll be continuing to appreciate whether it's music, dance, theater, visual arts. The Arts Council, with the support of our sponsors, is able to place three artists each year and we're already making plans for next year to bring in three more artists. We're interested in connecting with sponsors throughout the community who would be interested in sponsoring these residencies at middle schools throughout Fairfax County.